Hello. I just finished wrapping up a work week of my life and I wanted to go ahead and start off this weekend vlog because I'm probably just going to do a weekend vlog. By the way, my name's Lauren. If you're new, I just self-tanned and Chipotle, I think Christian's getting Chipotle after the gym for us, but um, it's Friday night and we're going to get this weekend vlog started. So I got Final Cut Pro a few weeks ago and <laughs> it is like the hardest thing to learn because I used to just do everything off of iMovie and I figured, you know, it's time to upgrade. So I've been basically learning Final Cut Pro for the past few weeks and it's hard. Like if you edit on Final Cut Pro, then you know how hard it is. It's just challenging, but I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. So that's good. Still takes me a long time to edit videos. So I know that work week of my life that I just filmed is gonna take me some time. I'm about to shower off my tan. It's been a few hours. And I wanted to share the self-tanning products that I use because I actually get a lot of questions on what I use and how I achieve the color that I have. So this is what I use. I use the Saint Tropez Self Tan Express. I leave it on for three hours. I usually apply it on a Friday night, right when I get home from work around 6, 6.30, and then I leave it on till 9.30 or 10, and then I will just rinse it off in the shower. And then what I've just started recently doing is sleeping in the Lux Unfiltered Self Tanning Body Cream. So I'll do a layer or two of the Saint Tropez Express, leave it on for three hours, and then I'll sleep in this self-tanning cream. And it's a gradual self-tanner, but I find that if I put it on and I layer these two together, it creates a really nice color. So this is what I have been using and sleeping in and loving. I don't put it close to my wrists or my hands or my feet because it can kind of get a little bit messed up. And this is, it's kind of gross now because I used it, but um, I used the Saint Tropez mitt to apply it. Just looks like that because I literally just applied self tanner on it a few hours ago and I haven't washed it because I don't want to wet my hands. And then I use the Morphe M4, what does it say? I use the Morphe M439 brush to apply it on my neck and my hands and my feet for the Saint Tropez. And I just use this I apply this with my hands after I shower and then I wash my hands after I apply this. You have to wash your hands after you apply this or the palms of your hands will be orange. So don't forget to wash your hands after you apply this. But I love layering these. The combination is incredible and I don't like sleeping in a tan. This doesn't give off a gross tan scent. It's in the Santal scent. And it also doesn't stain your sheets. That's also what I don't like about self tanners is that this will stain your sheets and this won't. So I just, I don't really like sleeping in a tan. So that's why I do the express. I apply it when I get home from work and then I apply this after I rinse off the tan and then I sleep in it and then I shower the next day. So that's my little self tan routine, self tanning tips. Get this brush, it helps when applying to your hands and your feet. And then that's the mitt that I use. But I wanted to share it because I do self tan every single week and I do get a lot of questions. So this is my self tanning routine.
wanted to try the apple crisp macchiato because I've never tried it before. So I got a tall of the apple crisp macchiato and then the iced coffee with pumpkin cream cold foam. So we'll see if it's any good. I don't know, I haven't tried it, but I mean, it's one of their fall drinks. So I wanted to go ahead and try it and see if it was good. So I just got a tall. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Okay, so there's like stuff at the bottom. I don't know how to mix it. This is the apple crisp macchiato. Mm mm. Mm mm. <sighs> Starbucks, you know. You usually do it right, but this isn't your best work. This isn't, this isn't that good. I keep taking sips, like, I keep, I keep taking sips thinking it's gonna get better, but it doesn't. It's definitely fall. I think I'm gonna stick with the pumpkin cream cold brew because, or not the pumpkin cream cold brew. I usually just get like a coffee or a cold brew with the pumpkin cream cold foam on top and it's just as good. Oh yeah. Yeah, it doesn't even compare. That apple crisp macchiato, I'm super bummed because usually Starbucks is always super good about their drinks, except for that one year that I tried the eggnog. Um, I did a video like so long ago, almost two years ago, trying all the holiday drinks at Starbucks and like around Christmas time and I tried the eggnog macchiato and I, no, the eggnog latte. Yeah, I tried the eggnog latte and it literally tasted like throw up. I don't even know how to describe it. It was so disgusting to me. That's the only other drink that I hated, but I usually love all Starbucks drinks so much. This one just, it's just not doing it for me. Just not. So I'll stick to the iced coffee or cold brew with pumpkin cream cold foam on top. I wait every year for these to come out. Like every year I wait for them to come out and it's always really sad when they go away. I always still try to go to Starbucks after the season's done and still try to order it because for a little bit they still have the pumpkin flavoring, but after so long into like the holidays, they don't have it anymore. So I always try to take advantage when it's out because it's not out year round. So I feel like during this time of year when you do have a favorite Starbucks drink, it's so much more justifiable to go to Starbucks and get the drink because it's not year round. It's not like you can go to Starbucks all the time and get this drink. So it's more justifiable now, in my opinion. And the holiday drinks too. If you have like a favorite holiday drink, which I think I do, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. I like the chestnut praline latte. That's the best holiday drink in my opinion. Yep, that's my favorite. Oh, I can't wait for that one. But I love the holiday drinks, they're my favorite. So justify that Starbucks this time because you can't get that year round. It's deserved. I looked like a psychopath in Whole Foods. I tried to get my oat milk, but they didn't have it in stock. But three of these are for Taylor. <laughs> if you're wondering, and four of them are for me, they don't really go bad because they have gums in them, which kind of sucks, but they don't really go bad. So you can kind of buy these in bulk. Maybe next time I'll buy them in bulk on Amazon, but this is the best creamer. And the only place I can find it is Whole Foods. So I made a trip to stock up. I'm probably gonna come back tomorrow to try and find my oat milk because they get shipments every night. So the guy said that maybe they'll get it on tonight's shipment. So I'm gonna check back tomorrow to see if they have it because they didn't today. But I'm so excited because I just ran out this morning and this is the best creamer, Nut Pods Cinnamon Swirl Creamer. It's so, so, so good.
because Christian's watching the UCF football game in the living room. So I <laughs> went to anthropology after, so I went to Whole Foods, came back home, dropped off all the creamers, and then left and went to anthropology because I have been watching Maggie McDonald on YouTube for honestly like four, I've been watching her for like four years. It's been a really long time that I've watched her. And last year, I remember her talking about these candles and I never went and picked them up. And then in her most recent vlog or one of her most recent vlogs, she talked about them again and how obsessed she was with them. So I figured if she's talking about them <laughs> two years in a row and then she was talking about how they sold out last year and people were like raving about them to her. So I figured, let me just go and see what she's raving about with these candles and wow. I got two candles, so I threw my keys in here. They're pricier for candles. I'm sure you could find similar candles at Home Goods or Target, some places like that. Candles can get pricey. They were around $22 for one and I don't think they go on sale. So I got two in different scents. So the first one that I got, which is not the one that she was talking about, I don't know if she got this one. I can't remember if she ever showed the candles that she got, but I know that one of the scents that she was raving about, I got. So the first scent that I got was Sweet Vanilla Cinnamon. This is the brand and I don't know how to say that name at all, but that's the brand up at the top, above the name. Sweet vanilla cinnamon. It smells just like how you think. It's like vanilla and cinnamon mixed together in a candle. Probably my favorite scent out of the two that I got, but they're really nice quality. I don't know how well they burn. And then the other scent that I got was the pumpkin souffle scent. This is the one that she was raving about. And it smells like I expected it to smell a little bit more vanilla pumpkin-y, if that makes sense. I don't know how to describe the way this smells, but it smells really good. Fall scented candles are my favorite scented candles. Sometimes I'll burn them in the middle of summer because I just want a taste of fall. And I love candles that smell so good that you just like want to eat them. So these are the two that I got. I only got two because I didn't know how well they would burn and I didn't want to go and buy like two of each candle and then have them not really burn well. So I wanted to share with you what I got at the mall. I didn't buy anything else and went straight into anthropology, bought the candles, kind of looked around a little bit, but, and then I left. So, that's my little anthropology haul. to make like a breakfast quesadilla so i got these at costco a few weeks ago they're the siete almond flour wraps and then cheese eggs avocado i wish i had spinach but i don't and then i just cut up some red and yellow pepper and i'm gonna try and make this and see how it is okay since they're kind of small i think i'm gonna do the egg across the whole thing and then put another one on top of it because I, they're not as big as I thought. The egg fits perfectly in there. I just flipped it in the pan. I have like a long list of stuff to get. I have to go to Trader Joe's, 
to get a few things, Publix, Whole Foods, and Target. I'm going back to Whole Foods again today to see if they have my milk that I went there looking for yesterday. And um, Trader Joe's is right there by Whole Foods. And I'm gonna go to Target first because it's right here. And I'm not getting anything cold from there. I'm just getting like toothpaste, deodorant, and like antibacterial soap for our like soap dispensers in our kitchen and bathroom. Not that much stuff, but probably gonna have to go to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's, then I'll come back and then I'll go out to Publix because I don't think I can hit three grocery stores, which is kind of psycho that I'm going to three grocery stores, but you can only get the milk that I drink at Whole Foods. And Trader Joe's has specific things that we get. Publix just has the best produce, I guess, that lasts long because Trader Joe's produce doesn't last long at all. Target, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, Jersey Mike's for lunch. Got all the goods in a good amount of time. Love that. Okay, I just put everything away from Trader Joe's. If you want to see what we usually get from Trader Joe's, I'll link the video that I just did a few vlogs ago where I went to Trader Joe's and I did a haul. Um, but I did pick up this, which is what I wanted to share. I already had co two coffees today, so I'm not going to open it today. But maybe I'll try it next weekend. I'll save it. Try it next weekend and let you know if it's good. I got it from Trader Joe's. I love pumpkin spice. And La Colombe is so good. Also, I was in Whole Foods getting my milk and I saw this vintage cola, which I've been wanting to try for a while by Olipop. I've tried other flavors, but I really was craving a soda and I almost stopped at McDonald's on my way home to get a Coke and I saw this in the cold section. So I'm gonna try it because if it tastes like Coke, then it's over and this is gonna be a new thing that I'm gonna constantly pick up. So I'm gonna try this, I'll let you know. And I'm also jumping on the chlorophyll train, I guess. I wanted to try it, so I picked it up from Whole Foods today. It was 10 bucks for this. I don't know how many servings. Okay, there's 60 servings per container, so 60 servings for 10 bucks. It's not bad, so I'm gonna try it. There's tons of benefits if you look it up. So I thought I could just add it to my morning routine, maybe add it into my warm lemon water that I drink every morning, just to make it easy. So I'll let you know if I notice any difference. I kind of wanted it for digestion purposes and also it said glowing skin. So those are some things that I got that I wanted to share. So similar to Coke, I'm actually shocked. Okay, I rated it a 10 out of 10 for it being, having prebiotics, plant fiber, botanicals, sparkling tonic, only two grams of sugar. Christian gives it a 6.8 out of 10, and I disagree. I think it's so good if you want a soda without like having a soda. It's even better for you than a Coke Zero because Coke Zero has all that fake stuff in it. So instead of going for like a Coca-Cola, if you want that same, same-ish, taste and flavor a little bit of benefits i think this is it the chlorophyll drops Oh. 
I was expecting it to taste like something and it doesn't taste like anything. I'm about to begin cooking our meal prep lunches for the week. It's way easier to cook it on Sunday than it is Monday night. So it's what we usually do, which is jasmine rice, ground beef, and um, a veggie of some sort. This, this week we're doing mixed veggies. And last week we did peas. A little tip for when you're putting your rice in a jar, just cut off the instructions out of the bag and just lay it on top of the rice in the jar. That way it looks nicer in the jar and then you still know how to cook it. I just finished prepping all of our lunches for the week. I put some garlic powder on top of the rice, if you're wondering what that is. And I'm also hard boiling some eggs for breakfast for the week. So I'm gonna package these up and then we're gonna figure out dinner. Are you at Publix? Uh, just one moment. I make a uh, kitty twirl, please, with double Reese's cups and vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream with Reese's cups, but I'm gonna get three. Oh, what size is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. I feel like we're so opposite when it comes to what we get for ice cream. Mm -hmm. With your banana ice cream. <laughs> Have you ever had a banana with peanut butter? It's delicious. Everyone will agree too. Christian used to get banana, banana ice peanut cream. butter. Delicious. I remember what anywhere said. Tell me I'm lying in the comments below if I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a bath. I just cleaned the bath before I we went to dinner. And I'm so excited. I haven't taken a bath in a long time. <laughs> 